SoCal Prep Legends, it's Tark Patel, as always. Flashback for Week 7, Southern California's best football action coming right at you. Yep, that's Jim Harbaugh, head coach of Michigan Wolverines. Clay Helton from USC in his own backyard on hand for Dorsey and Hawkins. LA City Section Coliseum League Showdown. We pick it up in the second half. This is Joseph Branch from Hawkins. Take this, takes this one 91 yards to the house. Makes everybody miss. I think when the ball hit that ground, everyone just kind of compromised their lanes, and Joseph Brantz took advantage. This would be a 21-13 lead for Hawkins. Dorsey would come back, though, and they would come back in fashion. Great catch here by Elijah Boykins from Jermaine Gatoy. Touchdown. Referees would actually converge. One referee actually puts his hands up with a touchdown. The other one says, no, no, no. But they talk about it. It would count. Lo and behold, game-winning 27-yard field goal from Brandon Sanchez would be a 24-21 victory for Hawkins, a heartbreaker for Dorsey. Next is Los Alamitos and Edison. This is Dylan Laurent, sophomore running back, gets into the end zone to actually be Los Al's only touchdown of the night. Next, Jack Carmichael gets through the line into the secondary and finds the end zone just before halftime. The final score, he would be 17-9. Edison over Losal with that EJ Guinness touchdown reception. Now, St. John Bosco and Santa Margarito, Real Mitchell fakes out the cameraman and everyone else on the defensive side gets into the end zone. Touchdown. This is Demetrius Flowers. Just no taking that guy down. Man, running through people on Friday night now. Berkeley Holman gets into the end zone. St. John Bosco 47, Santa Margarita 10. Mission League action, Chaminade and Alamany. This is Brevin White to Michael Wilson with a great spin mood and dive into the end zone. A little stiff arm there. Looks back at the ref and goes, yeah, I just want to make sure you had your hands up because that's seven. Yes, it was. Alamany's Johnny Edwards runs like a little drag across the field, finds the end zone. Chaminade and Alamany was getting close, but nope. TJ Pledger, of course, only a junior, one of the top running backs in the Southland, finds the end zone, 28-14. Chaminade. St. Anthony and Bishop Montgomery. This one got out of hand quick. Pick six for Tino Venegas who would find the end zone and of course excessive celebration would get the flag thrown. At least he wasn't twerking like Antonio Brown or proposing to a uh, kicker's net on the sideline. Nevertheless, St. Anthony would continue to roll over Bishop Montgomery. Taylon Patton on this nine-yard touchdown run would actually be 14-0 just in the first half, but it would balloon to a 43-6 victory. Pauly and Long Beach Jordan be a quick highlight. It was 76 to 0. Josh Brown, the big fella, huffing and puffing his way to the end zone, even gets a little treatment on the sideline. Okay, coach, now you gotta put me in at running back. <laughs> Not quite, but Josh Brown, a great performance as always on the defensive end. Now, Darius Kiger finds the end zone. 50 yard plus run, 25 to 0 just in the second quarter, and then of course Tariq Harness finds the end zone. It was 76-0 in the third. That would be the final score. No Gallus James Gray, a kind of kid that probably likes the circle button a little too much in Madden. 56-60 over Gladstone finds the end zone. A great play for Gray. Off to Santa Clarita Valley, Saugus and West Ranch. This is West Ranch. Jake Rice gets into the end zone. Touchdown. This one was a low scoring affair, but Saugus would have the last word. Quinn Schaefer finds the end zone just under two minutes to go and would pull off the victory 17-16 in Foothill League action. More Foothill League action. Hart and Canyon. Nick Moore would erase a deficit for Hart scoring two touchdowns at the end of the game. 28-22 Hart over Canyon. Jalen Chapman of Narbonne helps deliver a shellacking to Carson in a 59-0 win. That's the first pass there to Noah Jackson. Then later Cameron Denmark. Chapman, 285 yards, five touchdowns on the evening in the easy win. South Torrance quarterback Anthony Bazevich pulls it down, keeps looking, keeps looking, and just thinks to himself, nah, forget it, I'll take it myself. Gets one little block there and just gets around the corner, up the sideline, 24-14. South Torrance wins Bazevich with a heck of a play in the SCPL Top 10 nominee. Thanks for watching. I'm Tarek Patel, SoCalPrepLegends.com for all the latest info, action, and news in your area.